You are walking along a road or in a shopping mall when you see a person collapse suddenly on the ground. You try to wake him up but he does not respond and is not breathing. You panic and look around for help. Do you know that if you start CPR 10, that is continuous chest compression only cardiopulmonary resuscitation without mouth to mouth breathing, you can help revive them? CPR 10 is a new technique that is easy to learn and easy to do and more effective than traditional CPR. And you don't need to be a doctor to perform this life-saving technique. You also do not need to be certified to do CPR 10. Before we learn this technique, it is important to know what sudden cardiac arrest is. Sudden cardiac arrest occurs when the electrical conducting system of the heart fails and the heart starts beating irregularly and very fast, more than 1000 times technically called as ventricular fibrillation. The heart suddenly stops beating. The blood flow to the brain stops. As a result, the person becomes unconscious and stops normal breathing. A cardiac arrest is not the same as a heart attack, but it may be caused by a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when an artery that supplies blood to the heart muscles is suddenly blocked. The heart muscle dies because of lack of oxygen. In most cases, sudden cardiac arrest may be reversible in the first 10 minutes. The brain remains alive during this period even though the heart and respiration have stopped. This is called clinical death. CPR 10 or continuous compression only CPR compresses the heart between the sternum and the backbone and builds up the pressure that keeps the oxygenated blood flowing to the brain and keeps the person alive until a defibrillator becomes available or expert medical help is at hand. Defibrillator means an electric shock machine. So if you see someone collapse from sudden cardiac arrest, acting promptly can save their life. The best way to resuscitate is to provide mouth to mouth breathing combined with chest compressions. But if a sole lay rescuer is present or multiple lay rescuers are reluctant to perform mouth to mouth breathing, Heart Care Foundation of India recommends doing CPR 10 or continuous chest compression CPR. Before starting CPR, if electric shock machine is available, give electric shock. If that's not available, you can also attempt before starting compressions, two thumbs from a distance of one feet in the center of the chest. One, two, and start compression CPR. Let us now learn the correct technique of performing CPR 10 step by step. Place the person with cardiac arrest flat on his back on a hard surface. Say just like this, it's a floor. Put him on the floor. Check for responsiveness. For that, shake him. Ask him, are you okay? And if there is no response, put painful pressure on his body with your knuckles on the sternum or on the orbital area and if there is no response now look for breathing respiration take your cheek near the nose and look for the breathing the chest is not moving and if you find there is no feeling of air on your cheek the person is in cardiac arrest no response no breathing cardiac arrest start CPR 10 to start CPR, it's simple. You need only two hands, nothing else. Begin chest compressions. For this, kneel down by the side of the person in front of the chest. Am I am sitting. Put the heel of your hand in the center of the chest of the sternum. Center of the chest means in between the two nipples. Put your heel over the center of the chest in between the two nipples. And now put the other hand on the first hand. Keep your elbows straight and bring your shoulder directly over the center of the chest and start compressions. And compress the chest up to 5 cm, that's one and a half inch. Relax, but do not remove your hands. Allow the chest to return to normal position before you push down again. Continue to push hard and fast with a speed of 100 per minute, compressing 5 cm or one and a half inch 
continue it for the next 10 minutes or if the electric shock machine is available interrupt give electric shocks and then do CPR 10 or if you find the patient start speaking moving or breathing normally. The CPR 10 mantra is within 10 minutes of clinical death for the next 10 minutes compress the center of the chest continuously and effectively with a speed of 100 that is 10 into 10 compressions per minute. Remember to push hard that means compress 5 cm with each downstroke and push fast means 100 per minute at the center of the chest. Don't worry this pumping action will not hurt the victim even if there is a fracture of the rib forget about it we will repair it it is better to have a fractured alive patient than a non-fractured ribs dead person. Chest compression should be done continuously and without interruptions. While doing CPR 10 do not stop to check the pulse, clear the airway or do mouth to mouth breathing. It is important to act quickly. Every minute lost reduces the chances of revival by 10%. So if you wait for 5 minutes, the chances of surviving are 50% less. The earlier you give CPR 10 to a person in cardiac arrest, the greater the chances of a successful resuscitation. Chest compression should be done even if the person is gasping. Gasping is a sign of cardiac arrest. It is most frequent soon after a cardiac arrest and then decreases rapidly with time. Persons with cardiac arrest are more than five times more likely to revive if CPR 10 is attempted while the patient is still gasping. Studies show that CPR 10 is more effective and can save more lives than traditional CPR. This is because Continuous compression only CPR or CPR 10 can be done by trained as well as untrained bystanders. Also, it is easier to learn and perform than attempting to do mouth to mouth breathing which is often done incorrectly. Also, many rescuers are uncomfortable for giving mouth to mouth breathing for reasons of health and safety concerns. The simpler hands only CPR 10 technique helps overcome this hesitation to act. In infants and children or cardiac arrest due to drowning, it is better to do traditional CPR with chest compressions and rescue mouth to mouth breathing and not CPR 10. Sudden cardiac arrest can occur anytime and any place without warning. Doing CPR 10 offers the best chances for survival. Don't be afraid to act. Remember, your timely action can save someone's life. Mm -hmm.